Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat, I'm the Fittish Budgeter and today we are going to be tracking our expenses. So let's go ahead and first start with our checking account. So in our checking account, we started with a balance or a roller, you might say. So I'm just gonna put checking here. We did start with a balance of 193. And we did have a couple of expenses come out. So first things first that came out on the second was Apple. And this was a bill. Now, Apple has been going up, I have seen. And it used to be 12, actually it was $11 and it went up to $12. Now it's at 13 and some change. So I'm going to be rounding up and I'm actually going to put myself a note up here that I'm rounding up so I can be consistent throughout the entire month. Okay, so what was withdrawn was $14. So we're just gonna subtract here from the starting balance. So we're at one 79 and I do own dogs so excuse the dog here <laughs> okay now we are going to put down our other expenses we have an expense from my husband over let's see when did that date land on on the third which was Monday for the football game and this was at the liquor store and this is under my husband's spending. And he spent $20. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract that from here. 159. Next we have groceries. And this is actually one transaction, but I split it in half. I did have one of my friends um, ask if I split my household and my groceries, I typically do because I like to see what I'm actually spending on groceries because sometimes when we combine household and groceries, we might give ourselves a huge budget for groceries um, every week or monthly, however you split yours up. And we could be saving that money or saving some of that money because we don't actually spend that much on groceries. We're actually spending it on miscellaneous things we pick up when we go to the grocery store. But since we're not dividing them up, we think we just think that's groceries, if that makes sense. Okay, so I did split this up, but this was in one transaction. And this was on, when was this? Uh, this was yesterday, or this was also on the third. And this was at Walmart. And this was for my husband. I got him a iced coffee maker. That way he can just make his iced coffee instead of having to spend the money on drinks. So, minus 30. Oops, what happened there? 159 minus 30. There we go. 129. And the same day, the same transaction at Walmart. We spent, this is groceries, we spent $35. Okay, that left us with 94. Then we had Straight Talk come out. And this is still pending in my account. It says that it came out on the second, but it's probably going to come out um, like for sure, for sure, probably tomorrow, but I'm just going to put the second here, even though it's still pending. And this is straight talk. Oops, straight talk. And this is a bill. And this was $61. Okay, yep, that's correct. And then last night, I keep wondering what day what day is today, friends? Sorry, I'm like, is today the fourth or is today the fifth? Oh yeah, today is the fourth, yeah. This morning I got gas, so at 7-Eleven, this is gas, and I put in $30. So that leaves us with $3, and that's correct. 
I know this because I double checked my checking account, so we're all good. All right, so now comes the part which I like, which is just going ahead and highlighting our categories. Um, I have my little cheat sheet up here. It's just right here. So my husband is a blue and he's really a light blue, but I'm not finding the light blue. So we'll just go ahead and use this darker blue. Okay. All right. We got our pills. Come out. And usually gas, I usually only use cash, but since I have not been using the cash method um, in October, that's why I put it on the card. But starting this tomorrow, I'm going to start using the cash method again and um, taking out money um, for these variable expenses in cash. Okay, so next we have, oh, groceries and gas, that's why on, on here, groceries is on the checking side because I usually only use cash for that, for that but it has changed um, last month. Um, but anyways, <laughs> sorry, just rambling on about some nonsense. Okay, and then I'll just do pink for this, for gas, just a reminder. Okay, awesome. So next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a line here. And this is just going to remind me that now that these colors aren't specifically um, matching this because I was not using the catch method here. So this is just a reminder, everything highlighted from here on out is going to be um, specifically related to this, the colors at least, so I won't get confused. But anyways, awesome. So we got our transactions covered, so that is good. That is a huge goal for me. Again, this month, that's like one of the most important things I think um, about budgeting is being on top of that, being on top of your tracking. And I'm also tracking my mortgage, and I'm just going to put over here mortgage. I have a mortgage um, checking account, and I kind of use it as a sinking fund. And I, um, throughout the month, just keep putting money into there, keep putting money into there. And with this next paycheck, um, I'm going to go ahead and pay our mortgage for December. So we are going to be close to two months ahead on our mortgage which I'm super excited about because one of my long-term long -term goals is to be ahead on all our bills um, at least first a month. And if I could, you know, maybe two or three months. But the goal is to be ahead on all our goals for at least, for all our goals, for all our bills for at least one month. But anyways... Thank you so much for watching. I apologize if you guys, I'm not sure if you guys saw my bruise. <laughs> that was from the workout yesterday. Um, and also, in case you're kind of scrimmish, scream, squirmish <laughs> about cuts or things like that, I did a tear my hand. So if you saw that in a video, I'm so sorry. It was a lot of pull-ups yesterday. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and hope this motivated you to track your expenses. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Can I be around you for motivation?